going to be speaking about The Emotionally Healthy Leader by Peter Scazzaro. Mm hmm. Can Emotionally Healthy Leader. Boom. Boom. All right, so you can choose to join us in this journey or just kind of follow along as we are Don't unpacking all the deepness and richness that is our emotional lives. We're just like laying it out on the table, which everyone wants to do, by the way. It's <laughs> super great. Um, totally love yeah. exposing your internal processes. Yeah, a key takeaway is like I suck as a leader. I'm like a child. <laughs> So that's good. Technically an adolescent. In an adolescent. Fine. Yeah. So uh, so we're going to talk about this book. And so why are we even reading this book? I think that, well, number one, our, uh, our church is going to be going through this. One of these books. So Peter Scazzaro. Uh, Every time I see it, I can't say it. But if I just think about it, I can say it. It's one of those weird words. Mm -hmm. So Peter Scazzaro. Hope I'm saying that right. Peter Scazzaro. Okay. All right, moving on. <laughs> squirrel. All right, squirrel. There's going to be a lot of this. Okay, so Peter has tons. Mr. Scazzaro has. <laughs> what is he, your fifth grade English teacher? Uh, sometimes I overthink in the very moment that I'm speaking, and then it just goes bleh. No one's going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to help here. We're trying to help people. We're trying to help. Why are we the reading masses. this book then? Why are we reading this, this book? Oh, you'd like me to take it over? No. All right. Okay. You'd like me to lead? Is the like man to... of the household? <laughs> so we're reading this book by Peter Scazzaro because our church is introducing it to to all of the staff, not this particular book. He actually has several of these books. So The Emotionally Healthy, healthy Woman, The Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, and this one has to be about leadership. So this is why I chose this book. I actually already did all the audio on it. Like I read the audio book on Audible, which was so good, but it was like so many life-changing things in one book that I kept like, talking to him about it like oh my gosh okay well now we're talking about this and this and he's leading us through this these things and whatever else and so we just I kept talking to him about it I'm like we need to read this book and so I mean what we talked about it and then talked about it and then talked about it some more and then finally I was kind of like hey we got to do this just looking at our lives and everything else like it was important to do so we had just bought the book we went and bought two of them so we each have our own copies and you can't use the same copies when you are going through a book together because then people get the inside track on track on what you're going through and you don't want, I don't want her to know what's in my head. Mm, I'm more like I don't like how you highlighted everything or like just uneven or oh the highlights not perfect. Yeah mm. leave me alone Terrible. I got my own book mm. and sometimes I choose not even to write in the book. I'm getting better at that book so we adopted the book we both got it and we're gonna be reading through it and uh that would be part one we're gonna come back for part two later bob mm. all right sounds good signing out brandon and vanessa <laughs>